Hey guys, it's Darwin. So I had previously made a video where I talked about the cook system that I used on my hike of the Appalachian Trail. And it was kind of a crappy video. Kind of had uh, some bad quality. Camera was a little far away. I was in the beautiful Rocky Mountain National Park. So the scenery was nice. But the video was kind of hard to hear and the picture wasn't so great. So I wanted to remake that video today and kind of dive back into the cook system that I typically use. So I've had other types of cook systems. I've had a jet boil system, which when I started the Appalachian Trail, I had the jet boil uh, Minimo system. The reason I took it in the beginning was because it has a thermal regulator on it. And it was really good for being in the, in the super cold, smoky mountains whenever I went through there in April. We had some snow, had a nine degree night. So in the morning, trying to get the stove fired up, trying to light a Bic lighter when your hands are frozen was a little rough. But as soon as we got out of the Smokies um, and we got into Hot Springs, North Carolina, I switched out for a different system. Since I've switched out to that, I love the system and it's what I use pretty much any time I go out. So what I decided to go with was the Snow Peak 700 mug. Now the reason I decided to go with the Snow Peak 700 mug is because the 700, as you can see, has measurements on it. So it'll go all the way, you can measure all the way up to 16 ounces. The cup is bigger than 16 ounces, but you can measure 16 ounces. So say you're making some water, making some uh, Starbucks Via, which I'm a big fan of, and you just needed eight ounce, ounces of water, you knew exactly where your eight ounces were. Um, I believe that the 900 also has the measurements on it, but the 900 seemed like it was a little too big for what I need. So I found the Snow Peaks Titanium. Again, it's titanium. Um, I found the 700 mug to be perfect. Uh, it was perfect for drinking coffee. It was perfect for making ramen in. I used this one mug for everything that I did um, almost 1,500 miles on the trail. So the Snow Peak 700 mug weighs right in at 3.5 ounces. So it's 3.5 ounces for the titanium mug and this little mesh stuff sack that they give you, which came in handy because everything that I put in the mug I was able to cinch this around and it kind of kept everything without falling out. So with the mug, I ended up using the Snow Peak Light Max Stove. This is an awesome stove. The stove weighs in right at 1.8 ounces for the stove. 1.8 ounces for a canister stove. And I think it comes out to 2.2 ounces with the little stuff sack they give you which you don't necessarily need it. I kept it around. That little bit of weight didn't really bother me. Um, so this is an excellent stove. It is made of aluminum and titanium. Uh, it has titanium sidewalls, like the little arms, and then all the base of it is made out of aluminum. So how you work it is this guy flips up right here, and then it actually rolls out, and then these flip out. So. You thread it onto your can. It's a great little lightweight canister stove. So, with those two, another part of my cook system was my spork. I went with the uh, Cedar Summit aluminum. I didn't go titanium. I went with aluminum because the aluminum spork only weighs in at 0.4 ounces. And it was like a $10 difference between this and the titanium one. So I went the aluminum. I went with the long handle, and the reason I went with the long handle is if you ever eat any of those backpacker pantries, mountain house meals, a lot of those bags are really deep. Also, if you're eating instant mashed potatoes, Idaho and instant mashed potatoes, one of my favorite meals on the trail, it was good to really get down there and dig. So nice to have that long handle, and uh, yeah, so that went with my kit. I carried a Bic Mini lighter, which also came in at 0.4 ounces didn't feel the need to carry two. A lot of people carry two in place of a big bic. I just carried one. Um, they last forever. And the good thing is whenever you run out and it's starting to get low, you can always stop by a gas station and find another one or a Dollar General. So carried the bic mini. Uh, I carried this fun little guy. Um, it came with the 600 mug, which is what Snuggles carried. So I ended up ordering one too. It's called the Hot Lips. It's made by Snow Peaks as well, and it's a silicone lip guard. So after you take your cup off and it's boiling hot and you want to make some coffee in the morning, you slip this little guy on the edge and uh, it keeps, you know, keeps your lips from burning. 
titanium gets hot, metal gets hot. This little guy saves the whip so you can enjoy some, uh, some nice hot brew in the morning. So along with that, I actually made, and made it on the trail, uh, somewhere in Georgia, Hiawassee, I believe, I made this nice koozie. Uh, koozie, cozy, however you want to say it. Uh, I made it out of a windshield visor that we got at like a dollar store. Um, my koozie comes in right at 0.6 ounces. So 0.6 ounces for this. I think I paid three bucks for the windshield visor. I ended up making a couple other things. And I'm probably going to end up making another video where I show you how to make one of these. Uh, but yeah, it was great to be able to pull it right off of there. Slide it right down into my koozie. And then I could hold my cup. If it was boiling hot, I could hold it. I could eat out of it without having to hold the handle the whole time. Um, and I didn't burn anything. And it also kept my kept my coffee, kept whatever I was eating warmer for longer, especially uh, in colder nights and colder mornings. So my entire cook system with the, the koozie, the cup, the hot lips, the stove, the lighter, and the spork all came in at 7.4 ounces. 7.4 ounces for my entire cook system. Obviously that's not including the, the fuel, but 7.4 ounces was great. So most of the times we carry the big thing of fuel. Why? Because I saved so much weight on my cook system. So it's definitely something you might want to take a look at. And it's a great stove. I love it. Uh, let me fire it up for you real quick. So it's just like any other canister stove. Set your cup on the top. Turn her on. Light her up. As you can see, works great. Uh, works pretty good with the windshield too, a windscreen, uh, especially when you're in higher elevations. But yeah, it's a super great stove. Uh, check it out. Check Snow Peak out. Check all their products out. So that's what worked for me. Hopefully it worked for you. Uh, leave me some comments. Uh, ask me some questions in the comment boxes below. Like or dislike my video. Subscribe to my channel. I'm always putting up videos of reviews and adventures for where me and Snuggles go. So as always, thanks for watching. Yeah.